What is everybody? It is your boy Jamo Giants, and today I am doing a little experiment. I am showing you guys what you can get from the new New Year's bundle, which costs a hundred real life dollars. Obviously, you get a 99 at the end of uh, the Super Bowl, which also is worth 500,000 coins. But I'm gonna do a pack opening as well as show you guys my updated team and all that. So as we start out the pack opening, get a quick 86 Julio Jones. You know, that's not bad. They just came out with the Julio card, so could be worth something. It was around 30k when I checked. Pull a big Jordan Hicks football outsider of that pack. That's a decent pull. Another 30k. Bang. Best pull so far. 89 Shaq Mason. It's a big heavyweight pull. This is the worst pack we've had so far. Keep in mind, all these zero chill players will quick sell for a good amount of kindling too, so. 85 Shannon Sharp, again, not a great pack. Nunes, also not a good pack, so we're in a string of three bad packs in a row. That's a decent pull, 84 Jakeem Grant. He's a fast wide receiver. He goes for about 10k. Boom, 88 overall flashback. That's a pretty good pull. Probably the second best one we've had so far. And we're gonna get back to back flashbacks. This Lamar Miller is a decent pull. And an 85 Landon Collins. Who cook sells for a lot of kindling. Eighty seven Terrell Owens, a good pull as well. Eighty three Marshall Yonda, not a good pack at all. I get terrible pack. Eighty threes are terrible at this time of the year. a big animation and we only get an 85 D tackle disappointing very disappointing right there Taylor Gabriel a decently fast wide receiver 85 Jimmy Ward though that is a good amount of kindling bang Tevin Coleman one of the worst most here players you can possibly get at this time Although an 86 year chill player, so that's decent. Jerry Rice, that card goes for nothing right now. Eighty six couldn't pour this again, not that much, kind of a starter running back. Ninety one Talman Smith. I skipped that enemy on an accident, I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that, but that's that's a decent pull. It's a kicker. Worth nothing. Bang! Ninety four Devin McCordy. I don't know how the hell I've never seen that animation. I didn't know if you could pull him. That is by far the best pull I've had this year. I have not had good pack look at all this year. And that was on the last pack. Banger way to end the pack. Okay. Last pack, get a 94 Devin McCourty. I was using 95 uh, Calvin Johnson in my lineup, so he is gonna replace him and I'm gonna switch my power out pass over to Rob Murkowski. Okay, so we'll start from the bottom. We got Julio Jones, Jordan Hicks, Shaq Mason, all decent pulls in the first three packs. I quick sold most of the golds and silvers at this point and the zero chill players. So I'll do the math at the end of this video to see how much training and coins I got. And then we are going to go 85 Shannon Sharp, 83 Anthony Munoz, 84 Jakeem Grant, 88 Jason Barrett, 90 Lamar Miller, 
87 Terrell Owens, 85 uh, David Godchocks. Sorry, I just butchered that name. But we get on to these where the, la the fat last few facts are bangers. Tevin Coleman's ass, Jerry Rice ass, good important ass. But then you get Telvin Smith, who's good. And that Devin McCourty, who is by far the best pull I've had this year. Okay, so starting off, after the pack opening, I had 5,192 training. Before the pack opening, I had 4,370 training, meaning I made 822 training just from quick selling the golds and silvers. I'm just going to explain how I'm going to do this. It's very simple. So I'm going to show you guys the screenshot of the coin of the people that I sold, and then I'm going to add them together. And yeah, it should be pretty easy. Okay, so we're just going to start out with Telvin Smith, Lamar Miller, and Jason Moret, who add up to 141,000 coins. All right, now we're going to take these five players who add up to 72,725 coins. Now we're going to add these five players, which adds up to 73,650 coins. Now we'll take these four players who add up to 41,300 coins. And we'll take these final five players who add up to 38,250 coins. Okay, so that means just from selling the players, we made a total of 366,925 coins. Okay, and the Devin McCourty that we pulled that I put in my lineup is worth 300,000 coins. So that means we made a total of 666,925 coins. And the Super Bowl MVP card that you get when the Super Bowl is over is a quick sell of 500,000 coins, but will most likely be worth over a million at the time. For this equation, I will just make him worth 500,000 coins because that is a guaranteed. So if you spend $100 on this bundle and get your Super Bowl MVP, you'll make a total of at least 1,166,925 coins. So to finish off the video, I'm just going to showcase my team a little bit. I have grind in, as you can see, I'm level 80. I spent a lot of the coins on the Gronkowski that you see. I used my 95 power-up pass because I took it off of Calvin Johnson put in Devin McCourty over there you will see that in a second but just go over my offense I have Randy Moss who I paid for that Tory Holt uh Michael Irvin I'm running 95 Bo Jackson 94 Lamar that Lamar I used the Patrick Mahomes I used a lot of the quarterbacks I still think this Lamar is the best in the game Krishna Koy I'm still trying to get his 92 my offensive line is decent as you can see, Gronk and that 90 overall Taysom Hill are clutch-ass cards because I throw to my tight ends a lot. Alright, so you guys can see my defense. Obviously, I now have Devin McCourty replacing that Calvin Johnson as free safety. I just got that 92 Lawrence Taylor. He's pretty decent. 93 Ryan Shazier, uh, obviously, will eventually be a 99 at the end of the year. 86 Devin Bush has a good speed for my user. Ted Hendricks, the best gingerbread card you can get, in my opinion, has the abilities, which are good. I quick sold all my other ones and just re-rolled until I got that Bo Jackson. Uh, maxed out my Pat Tillman. Got that Deion Sanders from doing the NFL 100 solos. You should definitely do those. They're worth it. They're easy. Night Train Lane did the set for him. Wasn't a hard set. Still running the AJ Boya. Going to replace him soon. Just brought this Bruce Smith. He seems to be very good. Patrick Richard, I actually pulled, and he's a very good D tackle. And I only use uh, one D tackle as I on a 3 4 defense. So my second D tackle doesn't matter. Joey Bosa, also part of the Harvest set. Great card. Definitely pick them up. They're free. If you just do the collection, it's not a hard collection to do. And I'll show you my special teams. Okay, so this is my special teams. That Ray guy was free. From uh, the NFL 100 solos, I picked him because I did not have a punter at the time. Um, Adam Minitari, you get this card for free from the NFL 100s as well. I just powered him up to a 91. Got his kicker ability to slow everything down when I'm kicking. Makes it 100 times easier. Uh, free Deion Sanders as a kick returner. Make sure if you use Randy Moss and you use his ability, do not let him be your kick returner because you will not get to use Moss in the first play of the game. I do use him, and I think he's the most overpowered card. A lot of people are hit and miss with him. I think he's very, very good. It's honestly personal opinion, but NFL 100 solos, he's definitely a good pick to pick if you do not have him. All right, and that is going to be all for the video today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I did spend $100 on this, which I usually don't do. I'm not a 
big YouTuber. I don't have money like that, but, you know, it was just Christmas and stuff. So, got some holiday money, figured I'd spend it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you did. Tell me if you want more Madden content in the comments. Tell me who you guys use your 93, 94, and 95 power passes on in the comments as well. I'm interested in knowing who you guys use it on. But yeah, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video, and peace.